I'm Tara Schwartz, and this is Health Matters. Artificial intelligence is being used more and more in medicine, which is quite exciting. Diabetes is an ever-growing health concern in Canada. Increasingly, young Canadians are unknowingly developing type 2 diabetes, and people can live with diabetes-related complications for years before getting treatment. MUHC cardiologist Dr. Abhinav Sharma has launched a program that uses AI and wearable technology to detect type 2 diabetes in certain patients. This multiple multidisciplinary program is called Decide CV. It is a unique partnership between the Research Institute of the MUHC, the MUHC Foundation, Boehringer Ingelheim Canada, HopTech, and MedTech Plus. And Dr. Abhinav Sharma joins us now. So, Dr. Sharma, let's go back for a moment and talk about what is diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Help us understand. Thank you very much, Tara. So type two diabetes and diabetes as a whole is a condition in which your body has a difficult time controlling the blood uh, sugar levels. Uh, So typically uh, there are different types of diabetes, um, but type two diabetes is the most common form worldwide with over 90% of individuals with diabetes having type two diabetes. And essentially, it is that your body has a really difficult time lowering your sugar. So when you, we check your blood, the sugar levels remain high, and that could lead to a lot of complications down the road. So what complications can having high sugar in your blood lead to? Well, Tara, um, diabetes is one of the most common causes of driving heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, blindness, a kidney disease, and the need for dialysis. In addition, having high glucose levels significantly impacts the blood vessels going into the legs and arms and is one of the most common causes of amputation. So as you can wow. see, diabetes is a tremendous, tremendous driver of really bad things happening to people's cardiovascular health. And what kind of impact would diabetes then have on the healthcare system? You know, um, type 2 diabetes costs the Canadian healthcare system several billion dollars a year in both direct and indirect costs. And we know that one in five individuals in Canada has some form of diabetes or prediabetes. So this is um, exploding our healthcare infrastructure and causing costs of healthcare delivery to go up significantly. We're speaking with Dr. Abhinav Sharma, and we're talking about type 2 diabetes. Now, you mentioned that so many people are affected by diabetes, type 2 diabetes in particular, that it's a fast-going problem. Why is that? Why are more and more people getting diabetes? You know, it's a, it's a, a multi-factorial or multiple reasons are coming together. So the first is that um, uh, currently uh, it's really tough for individuals to go and exercise. Uh, people working most of the time, it's really tough to be outside um, and walking and moving. The second is that our diets have significantly changed with higher amounts of high carbohydrate related foods. And uh, the other reason is that there's lots of environmental factors. Like with recent COVID-19, a lot of people have been sitting inside and eating different foods or eating high carbohydrate foods. All of these factors from environment to um, other features around you are driving the higher rates of diabetes we're seeing in our population. So you decided to start something called Decide CV, which is going to help detect type 2 diabetes before it becomes a problem. Tell us what was the inspiration behind this program and a little bit about it. Well, throughout my training and as I've started here as a cardiologist at the McGill University Health Center, I've seen the devastating consequences of type 2 diabetes. Now, we know that a lot of individuals who are healthy um, can often develop diabetes and they have diabetes up to seven years before it's picked up. Furthermore, if people already have heart attacks and strokes and other issues like kidney disease, even if they don't have diabetes at the time of their event, they're at higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes down the road. So we really need new strategies in order to screen individuals and detect those who are at highest risk of developing type 2 diabetes so we can initiate the appropriate lifestyle and medication um, to reduce their risk of bad things happening to their cardiovascular system. I love that this program involves AI because it really is a buzzword and it's interesting how it's beginning to play a bigger role in in our healthcare system. So how exactly does it work? The patient will wear a device. Take us from there. Yeah. So um, we know that wearable technologies has really expanded and the use of wearable devices has really increased over time. Think about your Fitbits and your Apples and other types of related watches. What if we could take advantage of the data coming from these devices? 
and use artificial intelligence to screen individuals who have type 2 diabetes or are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So we're partnering with a uh, Quebec-based company called Hop Technology, which has created a wearable sensor, which is almost the size of a small watch that goes right on your wrist. Um, and this sensor picks up six or seven different signals that are coming from your body. All of these signals can then be fed into an artificial intelligence algorithm on the watch itself to screen individuals to potentially detect type 2 diabetes or flag those who may be at high risk. You can imagine a world in which people wear this type of watch or these types of algorithms are integrated into other commercially available watches. And unlike our current healthcare system, which has a lot of difficulties in screening individuals for type 2 diabetes, given the lack of um, availability of family physicians and other healthcare services, this type of technologies puts the power in the hands of the indiv individual so that they can take ownership and they can identify when something has changed in their own health. We're speaking with Dr. Abhinav Sharma. We're talking about using AI to detect type 2 diabetes and wearable technology. So how does that information that is recorded on the device, as you mentioned, it looks a bit like a small watch, how does that information get back to a healthcare physician? Yeah, that's a great question. And so we are currently building the infrastructure for taking all of these signals that are coming in from the watch, doing artificial and utilizing artificial intelligence tools to analyze those signals. Once the signals have been analyzed, a message can be pushed out to the healthcare provider via the electronic health record. And systems are also being developed in order to push out um, uh, signals to the patients and people so that they can know when they are at risk and they can take action by themselves in order to highlight to their physicians that, hey, I may be at risk, I need to be screened for type 2 diabetes. Now, right now, you're at the very beginning of, of what is a very exciting project. Are there people who can take part? Are there other doctors that can take part? How, how will this work? Well, we would invite people to visit our website at www.decidecv.ca. Um, you can check out all of our referral pathways and all of our information about the project itself. And we have all of our contact information listed on that website. Okay, so decidecv.ca. Now, as technology continues to evolve, will we see more projects and programs that use AI, do you think? Most certainly. I think artificial intelligence is a way to help optimize or to help expand the way in which we can deliver healthcare. We don't want this technology to really replace that human connection that people have with their physicians and healthcare providers, because that is the core. But we know that AI can really be used to supplement healthcare system and provide support where uh, physicians are not necessarily readily available. What excites you most about Decide CV and what what it holds for the potential for the future. Well, as I said before, the consequences of type 2 diabetes are absolutely devastating. So you can imagine if we're able to pick up diabetes much sooner um, before a person even develops it or as they're developing early signs of type 2 diabetes that may not show up by the patient feeling well, but because they uh, have signals in their watch that shows they may have type 2 diabetes, we can institute or make changes to diet, to exercise, and even to initiate therapies so that we could prevent all of these really horrible long-term consequences. And to me, it's that prevention part that's really key. We often tackle issues before, uh, sort of, sorry, we often tackle issues after they've developed. But what we want to do is put the power in people's hands so they can prevent these issues from developing in the first place. So that's what really and excites me. I love the idea of putting the power into the hands of the people. Dr. Abhinav Sharma, I want to thank you so much for your time today. And if you're interested in, in Decide CV, all the exciting potential that comes with it, just as Dr. Sharma mentioned, you can learn more about it at decidecv.ca. Dr. Abhinav Sharma, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much.